Hey, what's going on everyone? This video, we're gonna be talking about concatenation, which is a process of combining strings into one master giant string. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So like, let's say I'm sending some top secret love notes to my lovely lady, and we got one message here that says, you're cute. And again, following the previous video, you could use double quotes here, just as a, as a refresher, you know, if you guys are just jumping in. You can use double quotes, so then you don't have to escape any single quotes. So now, that string works fine. And let's say I have another message. And you know, if we're writing messages to people, we want a response. So we leave with a strong call to action, tell them to hit you up. And now we need to combine these into one giant message. So how would we do this? Well, if we're printing, there's something magical you can do where you put commas. So this will throw in a second argument and it'll print both. So message one, I guess, first message and then message two. Running this, and, you're, and it says, you're cute, hit me up. However, when we're working with strings, we can't always just pass in unlimited arguments and have it work like that. It's real simple, you just say plus. So it's like math, but with strings. And there we go, we get you're cute, HMU, no space. So when we're not having a space in there automatically, we might wanna customize it by throwing in some custom string here, like so and running it and now it says you're cute dot 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 hit me up. So the way this works is that we're building an expression and this expression gets evaluated and the entire thing gets passed to the print function as one entity. So the order in which this happens is not that print starts and then it starts parsing this string here and makes a giant message. Rather the the message is put together through this process of concatenation using the pluses, and then the final message, your cute, hit me up, is passed to the print function. Although this is a minor thing right now, this is actually really important to understand, because if we say print, and we throw in the message and the second message here, well, this is actually going to pass two arguments to the print function, and then that print function has to work with those two arguments and it's probably going to work with them as separate entities on the inside and put it out to the terminal for us. So moral of the story here is that if you are expecting one argument of string, you will want to use concatenation. And this is going to be 99% of the time. Print is just special because it's obviously designed to print a lot of things so we can pass in our data as separate arguments. However, other functions we're working with, it's probably not going to just do that magically and it'll expect you to put the string together on your own and it's not gonna do any hand holding for you. So you need to concatenate beforehand. Now alternatively to doing this concatenation inside of the function call, we can do it as a separate thing. So we could say full message and then we can do the expression here. So we'd say message plus dot 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 plus message two. And then all we 